Hi everyone, welcome back. So today's video is hopefully going to be a very quick one. Um, I am going to show you how to genuinely create maximum style with minimum amount of efforts by sharing with you my own personal styling hacks that I tend to do on probably 99% of my clients. Before I go any further, I just wanted to say that I am listening to your comments. Um, I know that you are enjoying seeing sort of how I shouldn't style things things up as well as how I should so I am um, preparing for another video at the moment and I'm going to continue to do that for you um, and then to answer the other question that always comes through is yes I do online styling consultations um, it doesn't matter where you are in the world I had a day yesterday doing everybody in America, so I'm up quite late doing those ones. Just go onto my website, I'll put it down below, go to the services section and you'll see all the details um, about the online consulting. And obviously, if you're in and around the Wiltshire, Hampshire, Oxfordshire area, then yes, of course, I do my personal styling clients as well. So let's get started. So hack number one is the half tuck. You've seen this done um, before on my videos. The aim is to lengthen your legs. You're looking to tuck the jumper in and there's several ways in which we can do that. I'll go through each of them now. The first is to tuck it into your bra. This only works if your jumper is long enough, otherwise you will show some of your stomach area. And the reason we're doing it up here is to avoid any bulk around um, your midsection when you tuck it in. Try and create this curve and that will really lengthen your leg. Look at the difference here between the pictures when one is tucked in and one isn't. And there's no reason why you can't apply the same principle to the back of the jumper. It will stay there all, all day long. Um, next up, if that isn't for you, we've got the simple elastic band that we've probably all got around the house. Place the elastic band around the front of the jumper like this. Tie it up tightly and all we're going to do is pop this tip of um, the jumper into the top of the trousers. Instead of having to re-tuck yourself in every time you go to the loo, this is a really simple, easy way to achieve the half tuck all day long. This jumper dress, for example, would ordinarily be way too bulky to put in the front of my trousers. So I can either tuck it into my bra like that, which works very well, or we can get our elastic band and we can create this um, pouch at the front and pop that in. And it's quite surprising that that doesn't really create any extra bulk and will stay in place all day long. And yes, the same principle would also work on a shirt. Here we can see it's quite big and oversized. So all we do is grab our band or pop it in our bra and it works equally well with both options. Final method is just to get a thin belt, put it around your waist and pull the jumper out accordingly. I always use an elasticated one for this, I find it's the most comfortable, but whichever method you use out of the three given there, they all prevent the extra bulk and all create extra leg length in the torso. Next is a great little gadget which stops your necklaces from tangling when you're wearing them. It's, so if you're like me and you'd like to layer up a couple of necklaces at a time, you can buy one of these gadgets from Amazon. They're really inexpensive and you can layer with two, three, four, even five necklaces at any one time. It's a magnetic clasp um, which means that when you take the necklaces off you're taking them all off together so then it's very easy to put them on a necklace holder or something on those lines all together without having to um, untangle them or without having to open up each one of the clasps um, so yeah something that's always in my styling kit as it makes life just that little bit easier one thing I would say is that it is a little bit difficult to get the necklaces on in the first place, especially if you've got long nails, but once they are on, then this will make your life a lot easier if you are a multiple necklace wearer.
So next we have the sleeve tuck. It creates the illusion of a smaller waist and is very easy to achieve. As the picture on the left shows the jumper as it is, whereas the picture on the right shows where I've completed both a half tuck and a sleeve tuck combined. Now, this, if you just roll your sleeves up, they will continue to come down all day long. So instead, get your elastic bands, make sure they're not too tight, you don't want to stop your circulation, and simply put them in place and roll the jumper over. Finish off with a half tuck, and you've instantly got a smaller waist and longer legs. What's not to love? As you can see with this coat, when sleeves are too long, it can actually make somebody look a lot bigger. The coat looks very overwhelming on my frame. We could just turn back the sleeves like that, but often it looks quite messy and rarely does it stay up all day long. So instead we can just apply the same principle as before and grab our elastic bands and use those to um, shorten the sleeves. Oh, sorry, Monty wants to go out in the background. Um, this way we show off the nice cuffs of the blouse I'm wearing. And even better, on the other side you can see my wrists showing. If we show our wrists, they're the slimmest part of us and it often makes the overall frame look a lot slimmer. So next is how to tie a coat without creating any extra bulk. So most people will just simply tie it, but it doesn't look overly stylish. Some people create a bow, but this just adds a lot of extra bulk around the front area. So here's how I would do it and how most stylists do it. So first of all, I would start by wrapping the belt around your hand. I'm gonna go really slow on this because it's quite hard to follow. Pull the end through the loop from the back of the hand towards the front of the hand. Once you've done this, stretch out your fingers to create a hole. Then grabbing the other end of the belt, thread the belt through the hole and then pull tight. As you pull, you'll see a nice knot starting to develop. Readjust the coat into position and then pull again on each side to tighten and secure. Then voila, a beautifully styled knot without any bulk. And if that's just a little bit too much of a fuss for you, then an easy solution is to buy a belt that makes the knot creation really easy to achieve. This one is from Amazon. It comes in black and brown, and I think it was about 15 pounds, but I'll link it in the description box. As you can see, it's got two holes. It's one size. Um, wrap it around your coat. Feed the one end through both of the holes, and then that will create a loop and then feed the excess through the loop to create a really nice knot shape. A really easy way to add a little bit of extra style to your coat. And if you've got a belt already, but it's just a little bit too long and there's no extra belt holes, then simply get the excess end. Instead of allowing it to dangle like that, just feed it through, create that loop again, tuck the end down, and once again, you've got a nice knot and it's added a little bit of extra style to your coat. So a really easy styling trick to elongate your frame and modernize your wardrobe is to wear a neutral, more pointed shoe as opposed to a darker colored round toe. Generally speaking, I'd say unless you're really tall and slender, then the round, round toe shoe will shorten your leg length and more often than not, date your outfit. I've tried to illustrate these by showing um, the comparison between a darker and a lighter shoe and a pointed versus a rounded toe. And as you can see here, the darker shoe instantly reduces my leg length. Um, this one in particular, being both dark and round toed, is probably the most popular one I see in people's wardrobes and the first thing that I replace with something a little bit more elegant such as this shoe. It doesn't have to be quite as pointed and the heel doesn't have to be as thin as that, but a more neutral pointed shoe is definitely more stylish. So continuing the theme of elongating the frame, we have a standard cardigan. Now without doing any styling to it, you can see it cuts my thighs and makes them even wider and shortens my leg length. 
Now we can do a half tuck and pull up the sleeves and that will greatly improve um, the visuals on that cardigan and there it looks quite nice, it creates a curve and elongates my frame. However, if we compare it against a long line cardigan when left without any styling at all, hopefully you can see the difference. The long line produces a really um, leaner look, a leaner silhouette and modernises the look. Also, it's very good if you're carrying any excess weight as the vertical long lines cut the torso in half. And from a side perspective, it hides any excess tummy weight. A lot more of a modern, sleeker look to upgrade your wardrobe. And if you want to further elongate your look, then you can colour block in the middle. So as you can see, I'm wearing all black. Um, that's obviously going to be more slimming than having black trousers and a white top on. But it depends on your styling as to whether you like that or not. Um, personally, I like putting a fresh white top underneath because I just think it keeps it really fresh and clean. And the final little hack is to show you how to layer a jumper or a tank top over a shirt without creating the extra bulk. So looking for a smooth line underneath basically. Grab yourself a tank top, a vest of some sort. Um, as long as it's quite tight, then any one will do. Just spend a few moments just sort of smoothing everything down first of all. Then just pop your jumper back on. You can even use the tank top to help you start. And there you go, no extra lumps or bumps. So that is it guys, thank you so much for watching again. If you could press that subscribe button and the thumbs up then I would be most grateful and I will be back next week with a big haul video for you. Thank you, bye.